So what I'm showing you now is the Frankentrain 466, which is a Comet. You're familiar with the Comet, which was in conventional form a single drive, which this one still is. And in the original design, it had uh, three wheels that were for pickup power. Made a little diagram where you can see two wheels were hard wire, hard mounted to the rear chassis, and one wheel uh, to the front chassis. They were the main power supply. The difference in this unit from Frankentrain is I've added an auxiliary pickups in three other places. So instead of a three wheel power pickup, we now have a six wheel power pickup. And I'm demonstrating this by showing that there is no power to the front truck. The only power is to the rear truck. And the truck is running with just power from the rear wheels. And switching directions when I can get the wheels to work. Both directions. Now when we're on the main track, this wheel would supplement uh, the rear pickup, while these two wheels are supplementing the front wheel pickup. So you've got three wheels on each side of the track picking up power and operating. Okay, now if you're observant, you might notice there's this black block of something here. And that is, I, I'm close to the final design of the Alco diesel smoke unit for diesel smoke. And I'm going to put this on this engine, by the way. So we will have all wheel pickup and smoke. And sound. I found a diesel Alco soundboard. I originally thought I would fit it here, but as you can see, it got a little tight on me. So I may have to do it edgewise if there's space. I'm going to find out. If not, I'm going to have to move it to the back. But we're going to have diesel sounds and smoke and six wheel pickup, and there's more. It'll have an LED headlight, which I just perfected in the uh, chrome units that I just built. But I also have these lights. I had seen them, but never tried them. I was encouraged to try them, and I'm glad I did. This is a Pico Red. It's the tiniest little light which will require the tiniest little hole right there for operating lights. Okay, so we're going to have the rear operating lights. The next fun thing, I'm not sure I can do this justice, so I'm going to try. I have found in my bag of tricks one last thing. So funny, you have to get the polarity right. Um, see if I can get it into camera view. This is a three millimeter off white or warm white white light. And I'm going to put that in the center as a backup light with a diode to the motor. So when you're in the reverse position, the backup light will fire. The red lights will be on always. Headlight, I can make that directional or on always, not sure yet. And I've got to print that part. Just reminded myself I'm going to print that part. The other thing I might try to do, because this 
this has this high piece. I have to see how much room there really is. It gets pretty tight here. But I might try to extend my headlight bracket for the LED back and put in a little bit of an interior cab look. Not sure how big it'll be or how much uh, detail I can put in there, but I might just try a bare cab and see what we have. Okay, so that's what we've been doing off and on. And um, I have um, a little bit of time left today. If I pull back, you'll see carnage. It's not really carnage, it's just a mess, okay? I've got an engine I'm trying to get to go here. And um, I've got my new boards buried in this test. I'm trying to put together heat sinks, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to get the smoke refinement working. Um, next thing will be the smoke refinement with the new um, buck boost board. Then I'm going to work on where and how to mount the sound system, the speaker, and its volt. It doesn't need a volt. Its volt regulator is built in, by the way. It takes track power, which is interesting. So I can run track power to the soundboard. Um, and then use my transformer to pass uh, a signal that says make the horn or make the buzz, uh, the, 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 the horn or the um, bell for backup. Okay, well, that's where I'm at. I've gotten the word. I'm going to have to stop soon, so I'm going to close it off. And um, I'm using a new camera device. Let me know if you think this works better. It's actually on a tripod. Kind of a new thing for me. Not really. I've had it for years. I've never ever figured out exactly the best way to do it. Right now I've got it on the tripod and I'm standing up behind it, leaning over, talking, so I'm hoping the voice comes out. Fun thing with this guy is I have a remote so I can do a pause and move some things around and turn it back on. So I'm going to have fun learning how to do that. Plus I have a, a remote zoom so I can zoom in on that smoke and back out with my remote. Ha! <laughs> I'm having fun with that. Ah, oh, yes. I have to put this on my train. Okay, um, that'll do it for now. I'll shoot this up and uh, get ready for lunch. And then maybe more this afternoon. All right, go get them. Keep them rails a-rolling.